Hello everyone, my name is Titus and today we are going to derive expression for acceleration and tension of two bodies of masses M1 and M2 connected by a light in extensible string which passes over a frictionless pulley. So for this let us first draw the diagram. So we have a pulley and we have two masses M1 and M2 which are suspended by a string. Let us say this is mass, this is M1 and this is M2. For this let us assume that M2 is greater than M1. So as a result, this is the direction of motion of the body. That is M2 will be moving downward and M2, M1 will be moving upward. <coughs> so let us consider the cases. So M2 mass, so due to which the weight M2g will act downward and here also M1g will act downward as a result tension will be created here and here. Since they are both connected by the same string, so tension will be same for both the masses M1 and M2. Okay, so we can write since the masses are connected by the same string. The tension experienced by both the bodies will be same and they will also move with the same acceleration. So now let us first draw a free body diagram for mass M2 with the different forces acting on it. So let us say we have the mass M2. This is the tension acting upward and M2g acting downward. Since we have already told here that it is moving like this, that is M2g is getting moving downward. So we can write M2g is greater than T or M2G minus T will be equal to third force that is M2 into A where M2A is a inertial force which is the resultant of the difference of the two forces M2G and T. Let us call this to be equation 1. Now for mass M1. So here mass M1 is moving upwards, so we can write tension T is greater than M1g or we can write T minus M1g is equal to M1a. Let us call this to equation 2. So adding equation 1 and 2, adding equation 1 and 2, we get M2g minus T is equal to M2a and T minus M1g is equal to M1a. So adding them up we can cancel TT and we have M2g minus M1g is equal to M1 plus M2 into A <coughs> or we can write M2 minus M1 into G is equal to M1 plus M2 into A or A is equal to M2 minus M1 
m2 g divided by m1 plus m2 so this is the expression for acceleration now we can find out the expression for tension so if you come to equation number 1 m2 g minus t is equal to m2 a m2 g minus t is equal to m2 a now we can substitute the value of a in this equation that is equation 1 so we write so m2 g minus m2 a will be equal to t or we can write t is equal to m2 g minus m2 a or that will be equal to m2 g minus m2 into m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 into g we can take out <coughs> g common and we can write m2 into m1 plus m2 minus m2 into m2 minus m1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 which is the LCM. Simplifying further we can write g into m2 m1 plus m2 square minus m2 square plus m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 we can cancel out m2 square m2 square so it comes to m2 into m1 plus m1 m2 m2 we can write g into 2 m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 or we can write t is equal to 2 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into g so this is the expression for the tension and the acceleration.